welcome to South Florida Saltwater Fishing. I'm Heath and it's Tips and Tricks Thursday. In today's episode, I'm going to go over with you what I do to rig up to fish for kingfish when I'm not using a wire leader. Before we get into this though, do us a favor, hit the subscribe button, give this video a like, leave us a comment, we'd love to hear from you. Alright everybody, you know what time it is. Let's do this. So typically when you're fishing for kingfish, you use 12 inches or so of wire leader to prevent a cutoff. Me, I'm going to show you the technique that I typically use, which is a triple hook setup with 40 pound mono. Um, I tend to use this because sometimes kingfish, they tend to go up if you're drifting and you're flatlining out something they tend to go up and inspect it and they they've got fairly keen eyesight and they will see that wire and it could spook them off if you've got mono it can increase your bite ratio and help you get the hookup uh, also uh, i tend to fish with the theory sometimes you get cut off it happens that's why it's called fishing not catching so let's get into this okay, so what you're going to need to do this is about six feet of 40 pound mono I've got three 5.0 J hooks, Mustad, and one size seven barrel swivel. Okay, so the first thing we gotta do is we gotta make a triple hook. So what I do is I'll come here where the eye meets the shank, take my cutting tool, and I just squeeze it, and it opens right up. So I'm gonna open up two of them because the third one doesn't need to be opened up. to attach them so what you do once you've got your eye open you take your hook turn it turn it backwards like this and you slip it through you're good to go to close this up now what we're going to do is you want to hold the hook that's got the the loop on it that's you got the opened up loop hold it by the shank you can use the back of your cutting tool as a pair of pliers. You get it right in there and you hold it good. And you just squeeze it closed. That's not going to back out or go nowhere. You're good to go. Now we're going to put our next hook on there. We're going to open up this hook also. This is going to be the top one and I'll show you why we're going to open up that third one. So, now we're going to put our bottom hook on. We're going to turn it backwards. Hook it on so we have a triple hook set up. And now we are going to clamp closed the eye of the hook. Very good. Now we have a triple hook set up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to slip our swivel onto our top hook. This gives you a little extra length to prevent a cutoff, just in case. There we go. Okay. And then again, We'll slip this here. I'm going to make sure that your swivel is on the, the top side of it so you're not closing it out. There we go. Alright, now we've got triple hook set up with a swivel on top. Now we're going to attach it to our leader with a basic cinch knot. If you don't know how to do it, I'm going to drop a card right up here. You can go see the video on how to tie a cinch knot. It's very simple. It's just feed your, your tag end through your top loop. You're going to wrap it up around itself. I do it with 40 pound. I do it six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, and then 
we feed it back through itself and we're going to pull it tight all right now so what you've got is you've essentially got lots to go on now some people they'll take a live bait and hook it right through the nose and use this as a leader I've seen that done. I'm gonna show you a way to hook up a sardine to it. So, this would be my bait of choice if I was flatlining out a frozen bait. Sardine. Um, you can use live bait. It's probably better, but I'm going over what I would do for a frozen bait for right now. So, Here's what you do when you have a frozen sardine, which is the way I tend to flatline out stuff. I get a fair amount of hookups with it. I've caught kingfish, caught mutton snapper on these rigs too. Regardless, so what you do is you've got your tail and it's got cartilage. You gotta come with your pair of scissors and you wanna cut off just enough of the tail so that you leave a little bit of the cartilage on there. Then what you do is you're gonna take your hooks and you're gonna measure them out. And again, they'll lay out nice on your fish so you figure out where your bottom one's gonna go first. You drive that through it, it'll be up, up around his shoulders. Then you're gonna do You'll figure out where your second one's gonna go. And then your third one is gonna go through the cartilage of his tail. And then you're ready to go. You remove the cartilage from the tail, that way when you're drifting it out, it doesn't spin in the water. You throw that bad boy out, and something will eat it if the fish are biting. All right, so that's what I do if I'm going out for kingfish and I'm flatlining out of bait, is I use this rig, triple hook setup. Sometimes I'll use a double hook, but the triple hook gives you that little extra something so you might not get cut off. And that's with mono. Kingfish got teeth, but you can overcome that with this rig. All right, everybody. I hope you had fun. I hope you learned something. Hopefully I'm going to be using this rig this weekend if the weather's good. We'll see you out there. Hope to see you next Tuesday for the Sunday Showdown. Till next time, South Florida saltwater fishing. Going wherever the cool wind takes us.